yeah, we finally made it to Finland and now we're gonna do one of the quintessential Finnish travel experiences. After spending one month in Norway, we finally entered Finland. And we're gonna start our adventure in this country from the north, from the town of Inari. Inari is one of the main towns in the north of Finland, in the Finnish Lapland. When you're driving in the Finnish north, you have to be careful of the reindeers. I mean, they are everywhere, man. Inari is surrounded by forest, and when you walk around, you will find a lot of mushrooms everywhere, especially in late summer and in autumn. It's a pity that we don't know how to forage mushroom at this point, so we just left them alone. And you can find Lake Inari. It is one of the largest lakes in Finland, and it's a popular recreational area there. Yeah, we finally made it to Finland, and now we're gonna do one of the quintessential Finnish travel experiences which is to hike in a national park and stay in a shelter over there. And tonight, we're gonna do it somewhere near Inari. I cannot pronounce this name. <laughs> it's too difficult. And let's hope that we're not bothered too much by the mosquitoes and midges. Let's go. There are a lot of hiking trails around Inari that you can choose for a walk. The trails vary in difficulty and length, but most of them go through beautiful Finnish Lapland forest like this. And you can find a lot of shelters in the forest for resting. And in each shelter, you can always find firewood and also place to do grilling. And in this fairy shelter was the very first time that we learned how to chop wood and also to make fire. Of course, we didn't know how to do these kind of things before, so we just learned from the locals. Like this friendly woman showing us how to start a fire. For city dwellers like us, it looked like magic. And so, thanks to the woman, we could start grilling the meat. After one month in Norway, it was such a perfect opening experience for our adventure in Finland. How's the food, Tam? Amazing! One of the best meat that I've ever eaten! First dinner in Finland! Like a... So we just spent the night there in the shelter, enjoying the fire in front of us. The next day, we went to Sida, the museum of the indigenous Sami people. Did you know that Sami people are the only indigenous people in the polar region of Europe? Well, neither did we. In Sida, you can learn more about the tradition and history of the Sami people. The museum is super huge and they were still doing expansion when we were there. Not only about the Sami people, you can also learn about the local nature and wildlife over there. The museum collection is impressive, and this is definitely one of the must visit places in Inari. Not only indoor exhibition, the museum also have an open air part. Not only traditional Sami building, you can also see a lot of unique tools and structures. Like how they saw wood, how they store the grains, and how they keep the animals out of the food storage by placing the food on a high structure like this. It was so interesting to see these traditional yet ingenious items from back in the days. You can enter many of the traditional buildings there to get a glimpse of how people lived back then. And because Finland is a land of lakes and snow, the people there are experts in making boats and snow sleighs. Didn't I already mention that there are mushrooms everywhere? Well, you can also find them inside the museum. Overall, Sida is a really great museum and it's definitely worth your visit while in Inari. This is one of the most uh, famous trail in Inari to the Wilderness Church. This is a very popular trail in Inari, and you can follow the red pole to get there. Look at this reindeer fence, 
they install it to keep the rangers away from the trail. Again, mushroom! I told you, they are everywhere. The trail is generally flat for about 4.5 kilometers and you can reach the destination in about one and a half hour. It felt like walking in a forest wonderland through the pristine lapis forest, amazing. We're getting closer to the wilderness church and of course, you can also find a grilling place in this area. There it is, the wilderness church. It looks like an old wooden church. And even though it's not used very often, it's still very well preserved. Those are the summer activities that you can do and places to visit in Inari in Finnish Lapland. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. So we will see you in the next adventure and of course don't forget to subscribe.